Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you how to use Weebly so that we can get this final group project finished. So I sent you all a link in an email, I believe, where I sent you a request to join Weebly. All you have to do is create an account. It's free. Uh, I think you can have like up to three sites with it for free. So just go to Weebly.com and then you can log in or create your account. I'm going to log in really quickly. And this is just going to be a tutorial to show you how to use the basics of the site. So you can go, if you have multiple sites, I don't know if you guys have used Weebly before, but just go to uh, this one right here. We're going to create our group name later, or someone can uh, put whatever they think is good. So we're going to go edit that one. Now, this is what it looks like so far. So we have our home page with information about us. You can put a picture of yourself and just some of your interests and your major. I already put your names up. Our mission. Uh, under the About section, you can click on About. And it looks like uh, Rachel, I think, posted a video. I'll have to look at that. Uh, Euthanasia Defined. Looks like that. So we already have the site coming along pretty well. Um, contact, we don't have anything for that. I don't think we actually need that tab. We can probably delete it. And this is the temporary page for you to access all the files that we've done this semester so far, starting with our modified annotated bibliography, and our group story, and our proposal for change that we did last week. Um, now how you navigate the site, all the way up here, there's different things to work with. We're not going to need store, and I don't think we're going to need settings. I think that's only for me so that I can um, invite you and allow you guys to uh, edit the page. But you are going to mainly need the build and the pages section up here. Design, you don't need too much other than to change fonts. I don't think you should change the theme because I think if you do that, some things might not transfer from one thing theme to another. Uh, for instance, if one theme doesn't have a picture tile right here, then this is going to get deleted, and um, this layout might be different, and then it might not work. So uh, don't change the theme. You can change fonts if you want, if you don't like this font. Uh, now for how to build the pages. So to add a page, you go to Pages. This is what it looks like so far. Let's say I want to add a page, um, a new page. You just go Add Page. You can do a blog page or a standard page. We don't need store page because we're not collecting money from people. <laughs> and I don't know what external link is. I'm, I don't think we need that because links that we might be using are probably to YouTube and you can add them uh, within, this, within the um, page itself. So standard page or blog page if we're going to create a blog. Uh, I'm going to do standard page to show you how it's done. So call it blah for now. It adds it down here and you can move it wherever you want. I can put it before the temporary and after the contact. I could put it right after home. And if I want to create a sub one, if under contact, you just drag it to the right. If I wanted to put it under Lauren's story for additional information, I could drag it further to the right. And I'll show you what that does here. So let's go, once you do something and you want to save it, you can publish. And that publishes it and saves it so anyone who accesses it from outside can now view it. So now that I added that, when you go under About, you can go to Lauren's Story and Hover, and now you have that page. Also, when you're editing pages, you can edit the type. This is a tall header, a short header, you can see what it looks like, no header, and I don't think we're going to use landing page very much. For some reason, it's putting a button down here, and we don't really want buttons that are linking us to outside sites, because I don't know about citations, if we have to cite stuff. That's why I, I used my own picture on the home page, just a picture I took when camping, and uh, stuff like that. I don't want to have to deal with citations. Um, so let me delete that page. That was just to show you. So that's how you do pages. Um, and then just save and edit it after you add it. So let me publish that so that that's not there anymore. Okay, that's taking too long. Okay, so now build. So when you're on a page, let's say that I'm on this temporary for document access and sharing page, and I want to add a picture. Well, you can add all your stuff here. These are basic stuff, so if you want to add a title, you just drag it 
From here, click and hold and drag it to where you want it. That blue line shows where it's going to go. So let's say I want a title here. And then under there I want some text. So you just go down here and then just type what you want right here. There's also other stuff that's new to this site since the last time I made a website. So here's image and text. Um, just an image. Gallery, I don't know what that is. Slideshow. Map, you can probably put in a map um, from one location to another. Contact form, a lot of this stuff we don't need. Dividers are nice. If you want to divide a page into several sections, you can just drag a divider down here, and it'll place a divider there, and then you start your new information below. Columns, um, if it has a star next to it, you have to pay uh, to use that feature, so you have to become a pro member. We're not going to be doing that. We don't need a search box, um, HD video or audio, anything like that. You can freely add a YouTube link or a document, flash file, another file. So we're not going to use this commerce section. You can use some of these. If you know how to use HTML, you can do that. I'm not familiar with HTML, and I don't think it's that necessary. It's a pretty simple group project. I don't think we're going to be graded on it very hard. Um, so yeah, that's the basics. If you have any more questions, just ask. Uh, for adding pictures, I can show you what you do. So let's say that uh, we want to, let's see. I don't want to mess this up, but so let's say we want to add a different picture in here. You can go edit image, add an image, and then you can just upload it from your computer if you've saved it from the internet, or you can upload an, a URL. I just save pictures from the internet and then upload them, or I take my own. Um, cancel that. And then once it's there, you can edit it also by dragging it around and resizing it within that box. But you can't make the box itself any bigger than it is. The box width and height is preset unless you know how to use HTML again and I'm not sure how. You can uh, view the page source code. Anyways, that's the basics. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to email me. Uh, my email is at the beginning of this video. It's s underscore hicks at outlook.com. And then um, also another note, when you do save a page, uh, when you do save an image, make sure that you save to this page only and not to all pages. Because if you, if you put in a picture and you save it to all pages, it's going to change every page's picture. Uh, this stuff up here, I also don't know what it is, but I don't think we need any of that. I think all we're going to be using is the basics. Text, titles, images, and dividers, and that's possibly columns and buttons. That's about it. So, uh, if you have any questions, again, email me, and that's it. Thank you.